guys, thank you all for being here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I represent a district in southeastern Pennsylvania, parts of Chester, Montgomery, Berks, and Lebanon counties. And uh, environmental resources in southeastern Pennsylvania are farmland, historic parks, and watersheds are extremely important to myself, having uh, grown up there and still living there, as well as my constituents. And they play a critical role in our economy and the quality of life in our communities. When you think of Pennsylvania, I think from an energy perspective, you think of coal uh, traditionally, and now obviously you think of natural gas. And uh, it has, particularly the natural gas boom, really re revolutionized the energy industry, uh, particularly in the northern part of the, the Commonwealth. Uh, for me, issues of environmental stewardship and clean energy innovation are of critical importance, uh, both in terms of uh, powering efficiently uh, homes and manufacturing plants, uh, as well as using our abundant resources in an environmentally responsible way. In fact, when I'm asked how I became interested in being an advocate for the environment and for energy efficiency and security, it's a topic that I started working on uh, at the most local levels when I was a township supervisor, starting an environmental advisory council in my local township, as well as when I then became a county commissioner and we started a greenhouse gas reduction task force. And to understand how much you can do on the energy efficiency side through technology, through smart planning, uh, it really is uh, fascinating for, for those who aren't in the business. Now all of you are in the business and I'm sure on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis uh, as you're dealing with architects and interior uh, designers, they know this stuff. But when you're dealing with someone building a building for the first time or retrofitting uh, office space, uh, their eyes light up when they realize how much they can save if they just plan properly. Here, here. I became a member of the Energy and Commerce Committee uh, this session of Congress. I'm now in my uh, second term in Congress. And I also serve on the Bipartisan Climate Solutions Caucus here in the House. As a member of that caucus, which many of you know is a bipartisan caucus, uh, I, as well as those I serve with, are, are very, very active in supporting legislation that advances environmental stewardship and strengthening our clean energy policies. Uh, let me speak on just a couple of those bills that we have. The Carbon Capture Act, incentivizing development and broad commercial deployment of technologies that will provide for carbon dioxide sequestration at power plants, uh, and industrial facilities, the Public Land Renewable Energy Act, the Nuclear Energy Innovation Capabilities Act, uh, two other ones of significance here today, I think, the Solar Fuse, Fuels Innovation Act, uh, fostering scientific research in those areas that will continue uh, to not only uh, get our energy out in an environmentally responsible, carbon-free um, manner, but also using that energy and storing that energy as efficiently as possible so that we're not wasting that energy. Here, here. Uh, the Electricity Storage Innovation Act, very similar to that. Um, and a couple other points. Uh, Policy-wise, I, I was one of the members who felt that uh, withdrawing from the Paris Agreement was not, uh, not the right move at this point in time. I think it's a ses setback to sustainable energy innovation and it forfeits our country's opportunity, <laughs> as I look around here today, uh, to so many vendors to show significant leadership uh, on something of economic significance. We have the opportunity to be a global leader in this space. We already are a global leader. I don't want to see us take a step backward. I want us to have the moral authority to sell, to innovate and to sell to other countries uh, with the imprimatur uh, that we are a leader in clean energy. Dialing it back to Pennsylvania, where clean energy technology is critical to jobs in our economy, in our communities. Uh, reports have shown in Pennsylvania, and I will bet it shows in every congressional district in the country, that clean energy jobs are jobs that the modern workforce uh, can sustain and that our constituents want to see us investing in. I think that's very, very important. This is not only the right environmental thing to do, it's also the right economic thing to do, and it's something that I feel constituents, Republican, Democrat, and Independent all support. Um, so with that, let me just thank you for being here today. I want to thank the organization. I want to thank all of you for what you do day in and day out. 
Uh, this is, the, the future is now, and this is the future. We're on the right side of it. We need to make sure that we continue to educate those who may not do this on a day-to-day -day basis on why this is important for our future, how many, plenty, how many jobs are gonna be here uh, for future generations, why this is good for the planet, and why it's good for local economies across the country. Thank you all very much.